We just entered a new era, an era of knowledge, discoveries and rebirth in general. I find the following question interesting, particularly concerning the ancient Vedic Slavic culture. Are Volks, keepers of the ancient wisdom, resurfacing at all? Are they sharing little bits of ancient knowledge and the true history of Rus? Or are they still sitting on their dour chests in thoughts that humanity is not yet ready for this? You know, colleague, I do understand your question and what's between the lines. Let's start from the end. When someone is trying to explain something to you, and is telling you, and perhaps not only you, that at this point in time it is impossible to hand out this information because humanity is not ready yet for it, you can certainly translate their words as follows. Actually, I don't know. But humankind isn't ready yet, because I myself am not ready. And I am the humankind, or its most important representative. If I am not ready, then humankind isn't either. And here we could stop explaining. Now concerning the knowledge of Volks. Oh, colleague, if it would be there, then we could even get it out of the dower chests, dust them off and do all the rest. But to the greatest regret, there isn't any there yet. Knowledge appears when there is a place for it. And this place is right here, inside the human heads. Each one of us carries a key, a little key to this knowledge. Like a puzzle. We just need to put all these keys together. It's like a quest. One must fulfill certain conditions. Each of us carries these conditions within ourselves. You carry yours, I carry mine. And we have to fulfill these conditions. When there is fulfillment of these conditions, then the access to an additional puzzle piece opens up. One more picture opens up, then one more. It's not about humanity, that humanity isn't ready. Humanity is ready. It is the world that isn't. Because if knowledge would manifest itself, then the world would inevitably start to change. So this past year, there was an attempt to artificially change the worldview paradigms, economic models, and social norms. And behind each of those motives, there was an absolutely noble objective. Only the execution was off. But when wasn't it, really? It has always been off. But look at the results. It is impossible to make someone happy against their wishes. You can do somebody good against their will. This has been a lesson for everybody, absolutely everyone. This is why knowledge will come when there will be a place for it. When everyone who is supposed to fulfill their quest will fulfill it. When the necessary number of right kinds of books would be written. When the necessary number of correct movies would be made. When the informational space will be filled. When information will start to give birth to new information. When blood will start to reveal other blood. When ancestral memory of one's ancient roots would appear in the mind as naturally as in the example I have given before, 
when mages rise to a professional level. Then information about it would simply appear inside of each and everyone's head. Like at night you didn't know it, and then you wake up in the morning and there it is. And how is it that I didn't know this before? It is as if I always knew. And this inner state of knowing about your own gods, your ancestors, your roots, about ancient knowledge, appears just like that, as if you always have known it. This means that all has been fulfilled, all of it was done. But all of this has to be done. What do you mean by it is not ready? What does this readiness suppose? Perhaps sitting and bleaching your brain until it reaches a state of readiness? All readiness is connected to a precise action that each one of us is fulfilling within their own framework, in their own key. Here the conclusion. Do you understand what kind of key you have? If you don't, then search for it, and once you find it, start fulfilling it. Your key is your skill, your talent, something that you're voraciously drawn to. It is an informational force that goes hand in hand with courage. And you're absolutely not afraid of doing it. Zero fear. Yes, probably this is that certain something. Humanity's readiness, you know, is a thing that has confused many. Very few understand that humanity's readiness for certain civilizational transformations will occur only when these civilizational transformations actually occur. Are we ready to fly to Mars tomorrow and to colonize all those faraway planets? The question is similar here. When there is a possibility, then we will probably speak about readiness. But there aren't such possibilities. Man has to work on that. Everyone works for their dream. Do you have one? Well, work for that. Don't wait for all of humanity to help you. This will never happen. Not until a critical volume of knowledge is collected and everyone turns their puzzle piece. As each one of us has such a piece. Whereas, if you wait for someone else to turn their piece before you would turn yours, and your friend and neighbor are waiting for the same thing, well, when will this happen? Never. Exactly. Точно.